Hi, I'm Officer Holly Kehoe. I'm a school resource officer at Horseman Middle School. And I'm Officer Brian Bastel, and I'm a school resource officer at Urban. So I just want to say real quickly, congratulations to Officer Bastel on getting his name right. Um, so I quick made up one of these so he would remember his name and who he was. We've had a little bit of issues with that filming where he's like, hi, I'm Officer, uh, or I'm Officer blah, blah, blah. So I just wanted to help him out so we didn't have to have like a hundred takes on this. So thanks. So we should probably get right to why we're here, right? So we're here to talk about Snapchat today. Um, Snapchat is the most popular social media app that the youth are using today. Um, one of the, it's one of the main communications for students between grades 7 and 12. And it's so popular because it allows users to send disappearing photos that leave behind no evidence or what they believe is no evidence. Yeah, so a Snapchat users can uh, set up a viewing time of up to 10 seconds or infinite amount of time after which once viewed it will be deleted from the recipient's device and yes Snapchat claims from its servers. Um, so Snapchat allows users to take still photos, record short videos, add text, and create drawings and send them to a personalized and typically uh, private list of friends. However, nothing stops that recipient from taking a screenshot or using a different device to take a picture of the image or video. One of the other problems with Snapchat is what's called a snap map. So what happens is anyone that's on your friends list has the ability to look at your GPS location on your phone. Um, imagine having, having 500 or 1,000 friends on Snapchat. Some people you know, some people you don't know. And at any given time of the day, they can tell you where you're at, if you're in a vehicle, um, if you're at a park, if you're at school. And what kind of information does this give to your friends in your Snapchat group? They can know where you go to school, they know where you live, and they also know where you hang out. Um, and unfortunately, there are no parental controls in Snapchat that allow parents to stop kids from undoing all of these things. Um, you can you can't resubscribe or untoggle any of these uh, apps, parts of the app, which is also very concerning. Um, also, a lot of times kids are using Snapchat as sexting. You know, with a disappearing photo, they believe they can take photos that they normally wouldn't take. They can send it to a friend, and they believe it's going to disappear and that there'll be no trace of this picture. They can delete it off their phone and just forget that it ever happened. Well. If it's screenshotted or a video is taken on the phone, um, that, f that picture and image is always going to be there. Yep, yeah. So another concern uh, with Snapchat is bullying. So I know there's a lot of bullying on different social media apps, text message, things like that. Um, but one of, the, um, one of the reasons why kids use uh, Snapchat for bullying is because Snapchat doesn't leave a paper trail and a lot of kids feel a lot more comfortable saying or sending hateful messages. And because of Snapchat's quick delete feature, any image that they send that is harassing can be difficult to capture. And it can be more difficult for parents to intervene in cases in which Snapchat is used for the purpose of bullying. So another concern with Snapchat is lack of moderation. So Snapchat allows users to connect by adding friends to their list. You can add people you know as well as people that you don't know. Um, it's also difficult as a parent to monitor the interactions your child has on Snapchat you may not know who they are talking to. It is also very easy for a child under the age of 18 to connect with older individuals. There's also no way to moderate the use, and it can be difficult to figure out whether your child is interacting with older adults or people that they should not be speaking to. Um, so Officer Russell, I know we talked about, um, oh, you know, you talked about the snap map. Mm -hmm. um, so you, there's like instances where you could go on vacation and it would show, you know, you said maybe a couple family members, it would show all of you down a vacation maybe in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, do you think criminals use that? Criminals do use it and we've actually seen in the past where criminals will see that a family is out of town and that means your home is empty and unoccupied. So what do people do? You know, criminals use that to their advantage and know that they can go and burglarize your house. Um, I've had situations where kids were in a battle with other kids, you know, fighting, and a group of kids showed up to fight a kid at a park, and later on the victim came up to me and, and uh, 
had no idea how these people knew he was at a park, and it was later found that Snapchat was able to tell them exactly where his location was. Yeah, that's pretty scary. So I guess, you know, the whole message out of this, you know, to talk with your kids about it, um, you know, make them aware of, of location, like what their location and how much information that provides to people, you know, friends and strangers, um, as well as uh, remind them that just because Snapchat says that the, the picture or the video deletes after it's been sent, that it's still possible for someone to take that, that um, screenshot, which I think kids know about, but what we a lot of times see is, um, you know, someone else is taking a, a picture or taking a video with another cell phone of that, and that never disappears. They're showing other people, they're sharing it. Um, and once it's out there, it, a lot of people think we can find it, delete it, and it's gone forever. And it's virtually impossible for us to, to trace that. So make sure you have those important conversations with, uh, with your kids about that. Anything else to add, Officer Basso? Nothing else to add on Snapchat. I hope you uh, got enough information on this. And Yeah, so thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye.